Hello YouTube and welcome back, I'm Ursa Ryan and this is proving to be an extremely tricky playthrough with Rome. I mean, I wanted to show everybody how going on her to start with would be quite a, you know, feasible tactic and really, we've, we've, we've struggled. You know, we, we had the initial war with Venice, we, we won, that was easy, not a problem. We tried to go to war with Greece, we actually had Corinth under our control and we completely mucked it up. I mean, we they took it back, we didn't get peace in time, they repelled us from the Greek mainland it was all a bit messy um and since then we've had another war with france and we are losing troops all over the shop we've just lost a ballista up here we've lost a legion down there i mean there's a lot of damage happening here we've got to be really really careful we don't you know really start to, to to lose ground here i mean the two legions just north of antium have taken a massive hit this guy is is really struggling now um which is a little bit of a problem i think it's tricky. I mean, um, we're close to losing this ballista if we're not careful. Um, and, you know, we, we've really got to be careful about not losing him, actually. It's it's super tricky to know what to do here because I don't want to... I don't want to press any further than I need to at this stage. I mean, early game wars have a problem of sort of compounding uh, and slowing down the growth of an early game, um, you know, your early game growth. You know, the, the more troops I'm building, the less universities I'm building, the less workshops I'm building. You know, the infrastructure that I'm putting in place is suffering. But at the same time, I can't let France get away with this. I mean, we've got a good defensible um, citadel here, which is really doing a lot of damage to the French army. And actually, if I can hold this this will be a good start. Um, what I can't do is I can't advance too fast and I can't advance to a further point than I can actually feasibly defend. This is this is the problem. Because at the moment I can't defend this land. This is, this is proving really tricky. Um, and I've got to be ultra certain that I don't advance too fast here. I mean, these pikemen, these are strong. Um, I'm just thinking I can actually upgrade my spearmen here to a pikeman, which is good. But legions are still more powerful. Um, I, I, I mean, I've lost a few now. I really need to be, you know, getting my army back in strength. So I think that's what Rome is going to be doing. Rome is going to be building me more army. I'm going to have to get Antium and Cumae helping in as well when they can. Um, I think that's going to be the thing. We've got to keep fighting France until France want a peace deal. Um, hopefully we can get something out of the peace deal. If we can trade for Lyon, for instance, that would be... Or even for Amsterdam, those would be good things. Um, but until then, I think it's the most important thing we can do is just basically just hold the line. Um, this ballista, that's a real pain here, actually, because I don't want to lose this ballista at all. Um, hang on, this... Can you shoot the swordsman? You can shoot the swordsman. You're not really going to do much damage there to it, which is a bit of a problem. I can retreat my ballista to that wood. But I don't know how much French army there is to attack it. Oh, uh, let's risk it. I'm going to go for... Let's go for volley. And then I'm going to move it to there. Uh, this ballista, you can you can hit there. And then you, Legion, you can just sort of hold hold the line for a little bit. I mean, I, I want to thinking about putting this, um, this second great general down. I've got another great general coming up. Uh, Robert E. Lee. I can put another citadel down. Ideally, where that composite there would be a really good place because I'd steal all this land and I'd be able to just stop Paris from being defended. But this, where this lumber mill is, that's not necessarily a bad place to put it as well. Um, we're depriving them of all their, their olives. So I've, I've just got to sort of try and engineer that great general to the front line. Um, a double cover legion is probably quite a good thing, but for now I'm just going to get drill one and retreat him down here. I'm going to retreat back to Antium just for now. Just to keep myself as safe as possible. Um, I mean, these legions are just, they're, you know, they they go as fast as they can. Um, this great general needs to come past. Sorry, I know I need to build a road. I'm not going to forget to do that. That's fine. Um, you just fortify it, legion. You hold that line. Um, this ballista. Where can you shoot? I mean, you can't really shoot anyone from there is the problem. I want. I need them to sort of advance further. Hold, hold there for now. Great general, that's fine. Um, so we've got another ballista, that's good, but really I need to be getting more legion as fast as possible. I mean, three turns for a legion is pretty good. Um, I think that's what we're going to end up having to do. I really, I need to get something from this war with France. We can't invest all this time, all of these troops, and not take anything. You know, even Leon at this point would be a good win. Um, but we'll see what happens. So France has offered me a peace treaty, but they want all my stuff. So France think they're on top, and you know what? That's probably fair. That is probably fair. They probably are on top. Um, I'm going to offer you a peace deal, but I want Leon. Let's see if they take this. No. Sorry, France. We'll, we'll war for now. 
And here we go. Actually, they're advancing in such a way that means that they are doing loads and loads of damage to themselves via this. I mean, they're completely surrounded this citadel. And whilst my legion is on top of the citadel, he remains incredibly strong. He's not gonna. He's not gonna win that battle. Um, unfortunately, we did lose this um, this ballista. That's a shame. But never mind. Um, we've got some more coming up. Well, our army has taken a battering. It really, really has taken a battering. But um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Really, if we can get someone else fighting France, this would be quite good. But the problem is everyone hates us from memory. Um, how's Spain feeling towards us? Spain are pretty, pretty... No, they don't like us either. Never mind. Um, Rome, what we're going to do, we're going to need legions. And we're going to need legions fast. You just keep pumping them out. Um, aha! This legion on top of his hill. This guy is pretty strong. I'm going to give him cover too, just to make him as dif you know difficult to defend or to, to kill as possible. This ballista, if he takes a direct attack from this pikeman, that's going to spell trouble for him. Um, I don't want that to happen if I can help it. Just move the, the worker and the great general back. Um, this legion's doing all right for now. Can this ballista attack anyone? Yep, this ballista can attack this swordsman again. Let's do that. Problem is, the swordsman and the pikeman are going to wreck my ballista, so I'm just going to retreat him back for now. I know I'm, I know my legion's being surrounded, but this will do 30 damage to everyone around him, so actually that's not such a bad thing. Um... Do we want rough terrain or normal terrain? No, we want normal terrain shooting for now. Um, and then just, as I say, just make your way to the front line as quickly as you can. Worker. Yes, I know. Actually, that's that's a good thing. So we've got that that, um, that dies there. But we've actually got a deer down here that hasn't been improved. So back to Kume you come. Uh, Legion. Again, I'm just going to switch you guys round. Just to keep you safe. And then I'm going to attack the composite just to give him something to think about. The pikeman, you know what, I kind of almost need this pikeman fighting, but for now, oh, I don't know whether to bring him to the front line or not, or to keep, I'm getting, I'm getting honour and I'm getting happiness from him, I think at the moment I just need to, no, I'll leave him, I'll leave him, trust my gut. Cities we all like to visit, wow, Thebes is already a bit of a tourist capital, I mean, Egypt has got to be a, a prime category for, for invasion at some point later in the game, France lost two troops, by surrounding my thing here. They, I think I lost a swordsman and a composite bowman. Which is good news indeed. However they are advancing on this front. There's lots of composite bowmen. I actually don't mind. I don't mind an army full of composite bowmen. My legion will wreck them in the long run. Um, I'm not too worried about them. It's, it's just having myself surrounded at this front. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat you guys back for now. Zurich now has a ranged attack. That's good. Zurich's now officially under my command. So I'll attack you there. That's fine. Um, and then this ballista is going to set up and just have a pop at that pikeman. In fact, actually, my legion here can finish him off. Good. So that's two French troops killed. Um, I'm tempted to retreat my ballista back a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to get double shot by the composites. But how much damage can I do? I mean, they're both on rough terrain, unfortunately. So I can't do that much damage. Um, but you know what? I'll give them something to think about. And then this general is up here now that's good that means my my legion on the hill is now being defended um yeah, you just finished the road if as soon as i get a road across this way to zurich i'll be able to reinforce the area so much quicker it'll be great um rome actually has two new hills um and actually this hill is next to river so i'm going to put some food on that hill make a, a freshwater farm legions you need to heal yourself as quickly as possible ballista um just all up to the front line really you know which way to come um you can see here there's a bit of a, a bit of a you know um uh what do they call it a war against um the ottomans have been declared between greece and byzantium they've both teamed up against istanbul um i don't think istanbul is going to have any problems from greece to be honest but constantinople do share a borders with them i think so that's going to be interesting to see and france uh, sorry france france what am i talking about spain and Portugal have gone to war as well. That's an interesting one. We'll have to... I mean, we've got to keep an eye on this. If, if we get a, a, a united Iberian mainland between, you know, either Spain or Portugal taking the whole thing, that could spell trouble for us in the long run. We don't want a unified Spain. Um, that would be a bit of a problem. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is... I am going to limit the growth here quickly just to five. I need. I'm, I haven't got much happiness at the moment. Um, like I've limited Cume and Antium just for now. Venice is, is one turn off being up to five as well. I'll limit it there. And I've got to think. I mean, I could stick another city up in this direction here. If I stick another one maybe on top of this hill, um, one, two, three, four away, it's got some citrus. It's got 
it's got horses, it's got a lot of stuff that it could um, help out with in terms of, you know, being able to flank Paris a little bit. So this is an option. And actually, we could go after Amsterdam and come down from the south. There are options here, so maybe getting another settler isn't the worst idea in the world. Loads of announcements this turn. Maria has gone to the Renaissance era, um, which means we've now got a spy. And actually, this is good, because if we look at the demographics quickly, here we go. Our literacy isn't fantastic. Um, and actually, Thebes might be a good place to try and steal from. I mean, soldiers, we're still just below average. We're not doing particularly well on, on a few fronts here, but I think Thebes... Thebes, I mean, 14 population city, definitely. Let's, let's steal from Thebes. If we can get a tech or two from them. Here we go, it's spy. That will do nicely. Um, the courthouse has been finished in Zurich. That's good. It means we can start building things here. Let's get a monument up just to keep our culture nice and high. Um, in fact, actually, we are avoiding growth there. That's fine. Venice, I'm going to avoid growth here as well. That's also good. Um, what are we going to do in Antium? And oh, We just need troops. We really just need troops at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a barracks popped up quickly. Um, so France, again, they're muddling troops around. Again, another swordsman was killed around our around our fort. Um, but they just sort of double attacked our ballista with the composites. And then also there's a knight here now. So this guy has to run back as quickly as possible. He really does. Um, the, oh, he's got a level, actually. What am I going to what am I gonna level him with? Cover two. Now we'll give him volley. Um, this. I've just got to rearrange my troops a little bit. So this guy can come here. You can go to there. We're all safe in my in my territory now. Um, we can just reinforce ourselves a little bit. We don't mind the composite bowmen attacking us. That's not really a problem. Um, and then, as I said, we can we can get this ballista just to reinforce um, this wing over here. You're coming in from the south, um, and I've got a le another legion appearing in one turn. Ah, here we go. There's another caravan. So let's get this guy going to. Um, uh, he's already sending one to Rome, isn't he? So Antium is sending food to Rome, Kime is sending food to Rome, um, so Venice, Venice it's your turn. Let's get food being sent to Rome. Worker, yep, you build the camp, that's nice. I mean actually they've got another worker here. Um, I'm going to have to, next turn we'll just have a look and see if we can improve any of these um, tiles, which ones are being worked, because I think there are some better options out there than the ones we're working at the moment. Um, you, actually, I can cut down the forest here and put a farm down, or should I put a lumber? Let's put a lumber mill down for now, um, just because I don't need to rush food at this precise moment. And what's going on here? Kiev wants a great merchant. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> hold, don't, don't hold your breath. Right, and herein lies the problem we have with France at the moment. That is a long swordsman. These guys are 22 strength? No, 21 strength. And more importantly, are now more powerful than my legion. Um, I still have the advantage. I'm honour. Um, I've got discipline. I've got great generals near. I'm going to be doing all right. And actually, the, the legion is, is hilarious. It's taking one, two, three, four five shots per turn, and it's still taking less than 20 damage per turn. The level of this legion is crazy now. Um... What I want to do is I want to be able to pop my great generals down. Right? If I stick one where the horses are here, if I can claim this land, then then Leon is going to be a really easy take for me. Because all I've got to do is just move my ballistas in and, and shoot maybe one, two, three ballistas. I don't know. It's possible. And I can start moving Legion in from the south as well. Either that, or if I can get any great uh, fort sort of anywhere along this line, really, then it's going to really help me. Um, for now, let's just get these Legion defending and healing. Um, Ballista, I don't think you're going to be able to shoot anyone, unfortunately, are you? No, it's a really bad location, that. Um, you come back to Zurich and heal in there. Good, that'll get me a little, another bit of happiness. Um, thank you, Rome, for building me another legion, but I'm going to need more than that. I'm really sorry, you're just going to have to keep building them. Um, and let's go for rough terrain legions. That's good. Worker, I don't know. I need you to build a farm there. That's going to give me plus one food and one plus print production. And it'll chop down a forest, which will get me more legions. Uh, Rome, I want to send food to Rome. Why can't I send food to Rome? Have I not got a granary in Venice? I don't. Wow, that's amazing. Um, well, it's going to have to be from Kume then. I didn't realise that. That's a bit of a mistake, but never mind. Um, and Worker, you just need to build one more road there. And we've connected up Zurich. Which is great. Um, the ballista can't shoot anyone here, can he? No, just wait there for now. Great general. Yeah, you just wait there for now. You just wait there. And hopefully, look, I just need everyone to heal. So just go 1, 2, 3, 20, 20, 20. 
There we go. We're getting there. We're reinforcing our front. We've now got five legions and two ballistas. We're back on a more even front here. And look, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. They just line up around this fortification. They keep doing damage to themselves. That's a lot of damage they've just taken there. Um, in fact, I've now got two ballista shots at this swordsman. I, hopefully we can start to kill some people here. And it doesn't matter that they're, they're lining the walls up with composite bowmen. I've got so much range strength, it's ridiculous. I, I, this is a really strong front for me. The, the problem is, is that we can't push any further from this. And that is, that is the crux of the problem, really. We need to be able to get a bit closer because, I mean, this ballista, you can see, hang on, ballista on Paris is going to do a bit of damage. But Leon, maybe three ballistas lined up, will take that in two, three turns. So that's, it'll be an easy take for us. Um, just getting there is the problem. And here's what I'm talking about. This ballista can fire over the lake just to here. Go one, two. Now, it's not enough, right, to kill the swordsman. But if this swordsman decides to stay put, right, and attack my ballista, he's going to leave himself in range of the citadel, and that should be enough to kill him. So that should be all right. Um, caravan, yep, you send food to Rome. Oh, you're already doing that, aren't you? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I am just being an absolute idiot at the moment. Does Zurich have a granary? Zurich has a granary. Right, we'll send it from Zurich then. My god, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> this is this is appalling. Um, construct a road. Legion. Ah, you've actually built up your strength now. But I'm not going to push you forward just yet. We're going to, for now, we're going to wait until we can push down from, from you know, the, the central reservation bit. Um, the great generals, everyone's sort of relatively happy here. We could use my legion to, to hit the composite bowman a little bit. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Let's just do some damage to them. Yeah, why not? Um, and actually, the swordsmen. Let's just keep them off. As long as we can't be attacked by multiple things here, um, we might as well just use our legions just to really weaken the French troops. Just give them something to think about. Um, yeah, we're good. And actually, we should have another legion in eternal two. Aha! Poland wants a peace treaty. Do you remember? We are at war with them. Um, you know what? If you want a peace treaty, you're going to have to be giving me loads of gold because otherwise I don't need it. Give me 50 gold per turn. No? 30 gold per turn. Come on. 20 gold per turn. Fine. 15. 10? No. Well, in that case, we'll keep at war with Poland. We don't need to become a peace. Look, look how far away they are. I think they're being attacked by Germany at the moment, aren't they? So the, the closer Poland get to being absolutely wiped off the map, and the stronger our army gets. So actually, look, the more turns things like this is going, we're, we're going up and up and up and up on, on troops. We're actually beginning to go above average standard now. Um, we'll get there. Uh, let's get another barrack set up in Zurich. Wow, we are losing a lot of gold uh, per turn at the moment. Why are we doing that? I think just nobody's really trading with us at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. But we've got a lot of gold in, in supply, so we can we can maintain this war effort for now. Um, right, hang on. This swordsman, you just need to go away. But to be honest, you can't do anything there. Even if he comes into my land, he's not going to be able to, you know, break anything at the moment. So just these guys. Um, Legion, I'm going to give you cover because there's a lot of ranged attacks around here. Everyone around here. And actually, all you, Legion, have got to level 6. God, you're, you are powerful. You are one powerful legion. Um, shall I give you shock three? Just to be able to give you like march and stuff. Oh, if I can give him march, he'll be able to attack people and still level up. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's go for shock three. And again, you heal yourself. Uh, we've got a double ballista attack. Can we wipe the swordsman off the face of the map? Yes, we can. Good. Right, he's gone another 14 gold. See, even just one kill, right, gets us more gold. Um, almost as much gold as we're taking per turn. So that's good. Let's get another Legion rolling here. Kume. Again, to be honest, at the moment, I just need the barracks working. I need you to be able to churn out troops. This is becoming a Roman war machine now. This is the only way we're going to win this. is just total, total war. Um, we can embark across this lake, and then we can pop out to here. And then hopefully we can start to push towards Leon. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my great generals, right? Just across one. If I can pop another a fort down here, we can again we can get closer to Paris, closer to Lyon, and we can start to mount an offensive. Um, caravan. What are we going to do with you? Yep, send food to Rome. We can do that now. And we've got some decent growth going on in Rome. This is good. I've got manual specialist controls. Why was I doing that? Are we working any tiles here that we kind of don't want to be? I mean, to be honest, most of the tiles are all right. 
Although, I, to be honest, I'd probably want to work that town more. So, let's get rid of this engineer for now. And put you there. Good. And then, actually, now I want to be working that die. No, stop it. Take it off the specialist. There we go. That'll do for now. Um, and then when this tile is improved, that'll be quite a nice one to be working. That'll be good. In fact, don't forget, we're now going to tradition. It's going to take us a little while to get there, but we'll be able to get an, an, you know, a strong Rome at some point. Um, some point soon, and that'll, that'll help massively. Again, legions, I don't need you to be going any further for now. Just alert for now. Um, that's good. Come on, swordsman. Come closer and I'll attack you. I'll give you something to, I'll give you something to think about. 